Manta's MTS5100 protective relay testing system and the earlier MTS5000 are optimized for ease of operation using the front panel controls. You don't normally need a computer to perform your testing, but a laptop can be helpful in some situations. You can connect your laptop using an Ethernet crossover cable, but several Manta users have asked us how they can connect wirelessly to eliminate the cable connection. I'll show you how to do that in this video. I also wrote an article with a lot more detail, and I'll give you that link at the end of the video. While the Manta systems don't have built-in Wi-Fi, you can easily add that capability using a low-cost travel router. I'm using a TP-Link WR702N, which is a low-cost travel router that meets all of these requirements. It's very small, so you can easily tuck it into a bag or case along with your other equipment. It's USB powered, so you can power it directly from the test system. It uses modern WPA encryption, and it's readily available worldwide from Amazon and other retail outlets. The router comes with everything you need, an AC adapter, USB cable, Ethernet cable, and the router itself. There's also a manual and a resource CD in the box. You'll only need the AC adapter if you're using both USB ports on your system for something else, like a keyboard and mouse. If you don't have a USB port available to power the router, you'll need to find an AC outlet and plug in the adapter. The USB cable is only used to power the router, not for data communications. I powered up one of the routers fresh from its factory sealed box and didn't have to set anything up to make it work. If you do have to reconfigure your router, the manual, my blog article, and tplink.com have instructions. Just make sure you set it to access point mode with the DHCP server enabled. You should also enable WPA PSK security and set a password. Now that the router is configured, we can hook it to the test system and connect our laptop wirelessly. The first step is to plug the router into the Ethernet port on the test system using an Ethernet cable. Then plug the power connector on the router to a free USB port on the test set. On the test system, you need to go to the Network Setup screen and set the IP address setting to Automatic. Turn the test system off and back on again to make sure that setting takes effect. Your test system's IP address will appear near the lower right corner of the screen. That's the address you'll use on your laptop to access the test system. On your Windows laptop, you'll need to find your network settings and choose the router from the available list of Wi-Fi connections. In our case, it starts with TP-Link. Then enter your password. Once you're connected, you can use the wireless connection to do the same things you would do using an Ethernet crossover cable. To transfer files between your PC and the test set, you can use FTP. Manta's Rapid Reporter software lets you fetch report data from the test system and manage it in a database. You can print the reports using custom report templates, and you can export them back to the test set. Every report file includes the settings that were used for the tests, so you can load them back on the test system and rerun the test. Manta's Remote Console software lets you control the test set from your laptop. It uses the same menus and screens as the test set, so everything works just like it does on the front panel. Those programs are included in the purchase price of your Manta test system, and you can download them from the customer area. You can also run AnnoServe's RTS automated testing software wirelessly using this technique. Even if you're not using a laptop, you can connect your smartphone wirelessly to the test system. That can be useful when you need to send test reports or screen captures to a colleague if your phone has your only available internet connection. Here's that link I promised you to an article with more detailed instructions. It's mantatest.com slash wireless. Connecting to your Manta test system wirelessly eliminates a cable from your setup and adds a lot of flexibility to the placement of your equipment. I hope you'll try this simple technique on your next relay testing assignment.